Good morning, fellas, and welcome to another episode of Retro Vault here on the Spoiler Alert Network. Today, we're going to be starting a new collection of videos where we will be doing full playthroughs of certain games throughout the history of gaming. To start this collection of videos, for lack of a better word, off right, we are going to start with Super Mario 64. So here we go, episode one, you're going to get about 10 to 15 minutes of me playing Super Mario 64. Check back in a couple more weeks. We'll jump into some more Super Mario 64, and you'll get another 10 to 15 minutes then. Boom. So if you know anything about any of the videos we've done in the past, you know that I love Super Mario, and I absolutely love... I'm not going to read all this shit. I absolutely love Super Mario 64. Like, it's probably my favorite game of all time, just based on the sheer amount of times I've played it. I think I've played through this whole game, like, 16 times since the first time I played it in, like, 97, I think. I think it came out in 96, and I think I got it in 97. bob -omb on the summit. Star 1, Course 1. Let's get it. Blah, blah, blah. Text doesn't matter. If you want somebody to read to you, you're on the wrong channel. So we're just gonna run up here, right up to the... to the, um... the big mountain, I guess for lack of a better term. And we're gonna go fight this big bomb-shaped guy. And it's gonna be a good time. And we're just gonna do our best to run through this whole course, getting all the stars that we can, in about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we'll see what happens for the future of Retro Vault here, where we'll be playing through other games and probably going to keep similar time constraints to those videos also. I don't even know what other games we have on deck for the future Retro Vault videos, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Right now what's important is Super Mario and reliving this nostalgia. When I first played this game when I was a kid, I had no idea what I was doing. And then I played it again when I was like, I don't know, 15 maybe. And at that point, I, I played it eight times in a row. I ran through the whole game on all four save files twice. And that led to me being, I don't know, maybe I guess a little bit of an expert on how to get through this game as quickly as possible. Not like speed running or anything like that, but how to still enjoy the game while getting through it as quick as possible. I'll never be one of those speedrunner guys. And a lot of that speedrunning involves like some form of exploiting and cheating. Not really cheating. Cheating is a weird term. But exploiting the game and like doing little glitches to move quicker through the story, move quicker through every level. I'm not into that. Ooh, I got 10 coins there. Nice. Received one power star. More stars are open now. Don't care. Going right back into this one. Foot race with Koopa the Quick. It's this ugly little turtle guy over here. And I do believe I can talk to these guys now, right? And they'll open up the cannons. I can't use the cannons in the foot race because the... Ugly ass turtle is gonna be like, oh, that's cheating, you can't do that. Burr, burr, burr. But it'll be open for the next level. Hey, Mario, is it true that you beat the big doll bomb? Cool. Yeah, 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 whatever. Let's go. 
And all we gotta do is just run faster than this turtle. It's funny that I was just talking about speedrunning on the last episode, or the last, uh... Oh, sh On that last, um, I don't know, star, I guess. And now we are doing a foot race here. The diving, the jumping and diving makes you go significantly faster on Super Mario Sunshine. Which is also a fantastic game, if you've never played that one. I know my buddy J. Ray, he has never played Super Mario Sunshine, and I just feel bad for him. But long jumps and jump dives and triple jumps, that's the way to go on on this one. It's a way to build up the maximum amount of speed and momentum. You don't even have to run all the way around here. And we won in a minute and one seconds. So we're just going to hang out here up on top of the flagpole here and wait for Koopa the Ugly Ass Turtle to come up here. He's just going to take his sweet time and make me wait. There he is. Wow, you really are fast, blah blah blah, human boy, give me a star. Good thinking, turtle man. I got zero coins that time. Nice. Save and continue, jump right back in. There is one star here. Shoot to the island in the sky. We will need the cannons for this one. Good thing I opened those up in that last one. Otherwise, I'd have to talk to the guys this time. That would just waste time. So we're going to run up the mountain here. It's odd that all of the levels seem to... Oh, you stupid piece of sh**. All the levels seem to involve that little mountain in the middle of the... Uh, level? Level? Area? Terrain? You'd think they have a little bit of a variety, but no. But as I was saying, there are there is, I believe, one star that I will not be able to get on this first level until I get the the uh, wing cap later on during my playthrough, which you guys will see in the future. Just long jump across here, dropping the cannon, and we're just gonna aim it at that tree, a little bit above the tree for uh uh. Yeah. Whatever the word is. Trajectory. Gonna change the trajectory there. That's a five dollar word. And there's a star. That's three stars I've gotten and a total of ten coins. Blah blah blah, three stars. More paintings are open. Don't care. Keep on going back to this one. Eight red coins. This is where I'm going to test my memory. I know there's one right here above this elevator. There's one right over there in my line of sight. And a lot of people don't know this about Super Mario 64, but if you... Uh, lose track of how many coins you have collected already, all you gotta do is pause it, and it'll tell you down at the bottom of the screen. See? Got three coins. Five to go. There's one over here. There's two over here. That's five out of eight. Oh, giant bubbles. I believe there's one down here. Could be wrong. Oh, there it is. And an extra life. Open up that little thing for no reason. And then we're going to run up the mountain, which I believe is where the last of the coins are. Stupid chain chomp. Jesus, I'm going to die. Big jump, big jump, big jump. Uh, there is a coin right up there. 
Oh, nope, I'm not going to be able to get to it. I've made poor decisions. Try to run at it. We're going to get right there and then I'm going to fall. I can already feel it. Oh, we got it. Nice. And I believe the last of the coins is up here on the island that we just shot to for the last star. Yes, that is correct. It is on the tree where we got the last star. So we're going to shoot up there and get that, then shoot down and get the star. And then everybody's going to be happy and we will wrap this episode up. Drop in the cannon. Point at the tree. Trajectory. Get the coin. Oh, I overshot the island. Run backwards. Stomp on him. Get his coin. Where'd the Koopa go? There he is. I'm gonna borrow his shell. I just wanted the blue coin. And then we're gonna jump over here. Oh, missed the star. There it is. Alright, and that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Super Mario 64's Retro Vault Collection. I'll see you guys back here in the future for another episode where I get another 10 to 15 minutes with you. Tune in next Tuesday for another T-San video on T-San Tuesday. Tune in on Saturdays on our Facebook page for Live at 5. Stay tuned and stay dedicated.